Hey guys, let's talk about three joint applications of artificial intelligence and blockchain. And by the way, I will be in May 8th, 9th on the conference on digital assets here in Porto. And in the description, there is a link with a 75% discount on the tickets for the conference. So I hope to see you there. Right. So on the previous video, I talked about the adoption rates of artificial intelligence and blockchain and what I foresee will be the future and the challenges for the adoption, the widespread adoption of the general population of these two technologies. And now in this video, let's talk about three joint applications or joint challenges that these uh, technologies can, can solve, right? So the, the first one, the first application I foresee is, is about the what I believe is like the top challenge on the adoption of, of crypto wallets, right? Uh, which is the key. I mean, the general population gets, it's always afraid of, of losing their keys and that is why they end up most of the time leaving their their assets on, on an exchange like coinbase or binance etc so i believe this will this is a top issue right so how can we store uh, the keys or side of the key um without losing it without losing a massive amount of money just because we lo we not we don't remember where was the where was that paper sheet where we wrote the 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 keys um, so people get scared, but what if there is no key, okay? What if you are the key, like with biometrics, for example? What biometrics does is that you eliminate the need of a key of a password just because your identity is validated by your own existence. So I believe this will be a, a nice a nice potential joint application. So if, if AI technology on the vertical on the application of biometrics gets mature enough and reliable enough maybe we could have um, keyless uh, wallets right in the sense that you you are the key and of course we already see some 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 cases on devices that uh, you authenticate with your fingerprint and these kind of things but i mean it's it's not it's not yet there yet right so the second application i see is around data governance which is more of an issue on AI, which is knowing what is the audit trail of my data. So if I know I put my data point here, who got access to this data point, when, how, for which intention, for which system, etc. If we put the whole data access system, the whole um, data governance system in the blockchain, we could tr uh, we could have a you know a, a reliable, a transparent audit trail of where is my data, who got access to it where, when, when, how, for which intention, etc. So I do see a massive potential application of blockchain technology on reliable, transparent, and auditable data governance principles for, for big companies, right? And this doesn't necessarily have to be uh, for the general, for the open public, but even for the company itself to know who is having access to which data and to be able to, tra to, tr to track this, this access, I believe it, it could be a, a critical factor. And, and the third application, which I think is the most disruptive one, is a data economy. And as you know, most free products out there, so the most free applications out there that you use on a daily basis, they are free. The, and the reason because they are free is because you are the product, right? So your data is the product or having access to you for advertisement is a product. But in most cases, you know, your data is your product. And even in some, in some companies that you pay for a service, they are still selling your data. Okay, and so be aware of this. It can be anonymized, it can be, you know, aggregated data, but still we are living on a data economy. And a pattern we see on blockchain on Web3 startups is that they pay their users for their customer base for using or for having certain behaviors on the platform, right? So instead of getting services for free in exchange of your data, you can get paid as an incentive for giving your data and for um, and for using your data. So I believe this will be a much more uh, balanced, a much more fair uh, system where, yes, you are getting the benefit of the application, you are still getting the benefit of receiving a certain token uh, in exchange of this as an incentive for, for the usage of the application. And this, I believe, it will be the most transformational application of blockchain and data economy um, and blockchain and AI, which is you know, incentivizing people 
uh, to give data in a more fair uh, in a more fair ecosystem where, where they are getting uh, paid for it okay remember on the last video i talked about the future challenges on the adoption rights of blockchain and remember that there is a link in the description with a 75 percent discount on the conference on digital assets here in porto in may 8 and 9 okay so see you in the next video and i hope see you on the conference